Today on Made to Hack, I enter a tool-making competition. All right, enough flattery. For Emma's spare room machine shop competition, I decided to try and make a small toolmaker's vise. I plan to make it out of one piece of epoxy granite that I will cast. And I will build a mold around the casting. However, before starting, I had to make sure and follow the rules. So I posted the dreaded rule number two to my workbench to always be reminded of it. The first step was to cut and prepare the sliding ways and for this I am using 302 stainless. These will be cast in the epoxy granite. After drilling and breaking a bunch of taps, all I can say is that 302 stainless is a pain in the Achilles to work with. I got some bolts threaded in the ways and ready for casting. I began making the mold box using some European beach hardwood. With the majority of the mold done, I used body filler to shape some of the pieces. If you don't know what to do with all of your in-store loyalty shopping cards, they make great spreaders. With the pieces sanded, I gave them a few coats of clear varnish.
I also used a makeshift lathe to turn some round stock for the bearing holes. I began constructing the mold. With the mold built, I gave it a few coats of car wax and Teflon spray so the epoxy would not stick to it.
I mixed my epoxy granite and poured it into the mold which had the stainless steel ways integrated. After 48 hours of curing, it was time to demold and I was pleasantly surprised how easy the mold came apart. A few epoxy touch-ups where some gaps were left. I then moved on to the moving jaw carriage using an old piece of epoxy granite I cast in a previous episode. I cut it to size and cast some stainless steel ways into it. Off camera I made an Acme screw to drive the carriage, and by off camera I mean I had someone machine it for me since I don't yet have a lathe. And finally the carriage is on the casting and it seems to move okay. I also made some jaws out of the same stainless steel so more broken drill bits ensued. Some 5 minute epoxy to clean up the back and top of the casting.
and it was time for final assembly. I now realized that the vise had a major problem. Somewhere during the making of the movable carriage, it got out of square and the claws holding the moving carriage to the screw bolts were loose. So essentially although the carriage moves, it rides up and out of the screw when trying to tighten the vise. Luckily for me, Emma's rules don't actually state that the tool has to work. I will have to address the carriage and the squaring of the ways in a future video. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.